Many people are asking, what is inside yoga? Let me tell you where it comes from and uh, what it really is. Firstly, inside yoga is mix of everything what I did in my life. So I grew up with martial arts, with Taekwondo. And then from 15 to 20, I was very into Zen Buddhism and Chinese medicine. And then in the beginning of 20, I started to do yoga. And everything from martial arts my whole life and Qigong and Zen Buddhism, meditation, and then different styles of yoga, I was asking, what do I want from my life? What do I want to teach? What do I want to share? Because I knew I want to teach. I want to work with people. That was for sure. But I was not sure what is my core message? What's, what's my why? Why am I doing this? I knew intuitively I want to teach people. I want to work with people. I didn't know. I couldn't define what is my why. I tried kind of energetic way. I tried to also uh, to get enlightened. I tried to do some, some crazy acrobatic stuff. And I was not really sure. What is my goal? What is my why? Then I found my why while I was reading a book. The book name is Teaching Yoga from a New Zealand yoga teacher, Donna Fari. She was writing in that book that the goal of teaching yoga is not to enlighten the people or to make, to create some uber hum human power, like kind of creating some, some uh, X-Men powers, Superman, Superwoman powers, so you can fly, you can, you can do some crazy things. It's not our goal, and it's not practical, and it's not realistic. But the goal could be and should be as a yoga teacher is to reach out to the people at heart. So we feel more as a human being, so more, we can create more kindness to each other. And then I could answer my question, what is my why? Why I, do I want to teach yoga? And for me, it was clear. I was getting rid of this enlightenment thing. For me, it was clear I want to create happiness and physical and mental happiness. Not too much spiritual happiness, something is away from my daily life. No, I want to create happiness in the daily life, in my life, but also in the life of my students. The my why was very, very clear. Then I collected many different techniques, what makes us physically and mentally happier. Then the product that came out was Inside Yoga. Inside Yoga has three pillars. First pillar is very important. is a pillar of evolution. Inside Yoga is a a very scientific-based, evidence-based yoga style. And we push the evolution all the time. That means because I'm not enlightened, I don't know everything. Who does? You know, that means I am staying a student, I'm constantly learning, and the style of inside yoga, also the alignment techniques we're doing here, we are evolving all the time. I hope next year and two years, three or five years later, I can share the next level, next update of inside yoga alignments. So we're not against the tradition, but we are pro-evolution. 
We are very grateful for the tradition. Without tradition, we won't be here. But it doesn't mean I have to follow follow the rules how people used to practice yoga 100 years ago. So we are pushing the evolution all the time, right? So pillar of evolution is the first pillar of inside yoga. The second pillar of inside yoga is the power of music. Because I do believe that music is most powerful tool you can use as a yoga teacher to reach the heart of the people. Because words go into your ears and goes to the brain and then eventually can reach your heart. But music, the vibration, goes through your skin, not only through your ears, the bass goes through your skin, goes directly to your heart. You can't even protect from the music. Music is everywhere. Music can affect your emotional emotional uh, feelings right away, immediately. And when we acknowledge the power of music, we should study music more so we know how to use music as a powerful tool to reach the people's emotions, people's feelings. That's how we came out with Insta Flow and how, you, how to use music for vinyasa flow and for other parts of trainings also. And not only spiritual music, because every kind of music is spiritual and holy, right? So let's use this really wide variety of music to reach out to the people. The power of music is the second pillar of inside yoga. And third pillar is the Maha Guru is inside pillar. That's why also the name of the style is inside yoga. I truly believe that the biggest teacher, the greatest teacher, Maha Guru, is or resides in you. The greatest teacher of all time is inside you. Even the word Maha Guru, Maha, when you read this backwards, it's Aham. Aham means in Sanskrit, me, I. That means also when you go backwards, your Aham, Aham backwards, you will find your Maha Guru. Right? Even the Sanskrit has the secret already inside. Whatever style teaches you to do that or to do this, whatever charismatic teacher is telling you to do that, to do this, doesn't matter. At the end, ask yourself, ask your Mahaguru inside, and what, what your Mahaguru says is right for you. If this feels right for you, this is your truth. And this is the third pillar of inside yoga. That's also the name of inside yoga. The style is coming from that root, that philosophy. And this all together is inside yoga. It's a very evidence-based very down to earth, but also we are very spiritual, but in a very down to earth way. We don't seek for enlightenment. We don't seek for opening all the chakras, but we want to be happy. We want to share happiness and we want to teach happiness in a very down to earth way. So this is inside yoga.